Change is not something that's always comfortable to many. Transferring to school, is your birthday coming up, or maybe even for some, even graduating. To many of us who are in our early 20s or even near our early 20s, there are a lot to think about. The dilemma whether we should have it all together or, you know, just have fun. There are a lot of time ahead. This is going to be our topic today. We will be delving on how to 20-something on college and adult life. Thus, we invited Ma'am Cecile Ann Palapil. She is currently a full-time faculty member at the Department of Psychology and University of Santo Tomas. She is an associate member at the Psychological Association of the Philippines, a registered psychologist, certified specialist in counseling psychology, industrial, or industrial organizational psychology, and assessment psychology. Especially to the Thaumashan community, we hope everyone is doing fine even though we are still facing the challenges in our country and in the current academic setup. I am Charles, the Assistant Secretary of the College of Science Student Council and your co-host for today's episode of our Pat Dubai at Goodbye podcast. How are you today, Mick Mick? Hello, Charles. I am doing great. A, a little bit stressed with the academic stuff, but kinakaya naman. I am always reminded that whatever happens, we should continue to fight to reach our goal to become a world-class scientist. Let me introduce myself to our listeners. I am Mick Mick, the Executive Director for the Community Development of the College of Science Student Council. And together with Charles, magiging co-host rin ako. So by the way, Charles, can you share with us what just happened during our launching? I, I've heard about the launching and I've heard that um, this uh, Patnubay at Gabay series would be under the, the conversation where um, among us, the Thomasian scientists would be conversing about the things that we think are important and likewise um, have our listener listen to our um, what the listeners want for us to talk about and likewise for them to be able to relate sa ating mga pinag-uusapan. Wow, Char, grabe naman yung mga pansabog na yan, no? Kaya alam mo ba, carbs na carbs na ako nung nalaman ko about this project in general. That is why we invite you to listen not only during this, this podcast, but also to all the episodes we will be releasing. So for this episode naman, we are going to tackle how to 20-something on college and young adult life. We'll be talking about motivation, student and adult life, and other matters that are important to us college students. Yeah, that really sounds interesting. My God, ako nga rin, parang I'm turning 21 in a few months and I've been thinking about it. It's gonna happen and all that thing in my head right now. I can't wait to know more about this. Feeling ko kailangan na kailangan ko siya as of the moment. Alam mo siya, I, I, I share the same sentiments. Same sentiments with you, no? Kasi kung ikaw magti-21 na, ako 21 na. Just nag-21 na ako. Nag-21 na ako last August, no? Kaya feeling ko kailangan ko rin to. Kaya what should we do now? Siyempre, let's introduce our speaker right away. Kasi I can already feel yung information na isi-share niya sa atin, no? I got you, Mick Mick. So, without further ado, let's call our guest for today's episode, Assistant Professor Cecil Ann Pilapil. Hello, ma'am. Good day po. Be- hello, hello, hello. 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 What's up, girl? Best <laughs> 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 in the house? Nice. 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 today. I'm going to be like you today, <laughs> ladies. So, hi. Very hello. energetic hello. kayong hello. dalawa. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Um, Ma'am, before we proceed po with the topics that we'll be discussing, syempre, kakamustahin po muna namin kayo. So, ma'am, kamusta po ba kayo ngayon? <laughs> Pwede ba tumawa na lang? Hindi ko tumawa na nga lang din kayo. Well, yeah. Well, thank you for asking. Uh, um, as a prof who just finished grading, uh, Uh, so many, many, many online requirements for the past two to three weeks. I am right now exhausted. But when I heard that I will be part 
of this dynamic duo <laughs> of uh, uh, Micaela and also Char. Sabi ko, ay! Magigising na naman ako. Kasi <laughs> for sure, marami tayong pag-uusapan. So right now, I'm ready for you girls. Game na tayo! <laughs> game na game na. Kung, um, it's nice to know naman po na ano no, even though you're feeling tired, parang you see this um podcast po as a way to like chill and to get to know the students and to share your experiences or am i right charl yeah super like really um ngayon pa lang really really thank you for giving us some time kasi alam naman kung gaano ka jump pack ng schedule nyo ma'am so gina gina ang lahat let's um let's get right into this so our first question for tonight yeah we're recording tonight mga listeners ano po how did your experiences experience Wow, kaya ko to. How did your experiences help your young adult life get to where you are right now po? Wow! Parang <laughs> lumilingon ako sa, sa aking nakaraan. <laughs> um, yeah, first of all, um, I, I just want to say this for the record. I'm doing this because I believe in the youth. And one of my advocacies in my life is to help the youth as much as I can. And may, maybe not because I'm only uh, youthful at heart and it also in my demeanor at times, no? but I really believe that the youth, if you give them a chance, they can make the world a better place. So with my introduction as that, and I'm now going to look back, wow, if I'm a, I'm a golden girl already, and you, when you tell me I look back, like, wow, how many years is that, sis? All I can say is with who I am right now, I will attribute it to many, many things. Eh? And one of them is really um, challenges with family. No? Uh, I am a middle, ako makakaralit ang mga middle child syndrome dyan, di ba? So, so for those who are uh, middle children and at the same time, tapos nagkataon, babae, ganyan, no? Um, growing up in an OFW family, it was really tough. Um, I did not have all the opportunities that you have now because I was really confronted with my own shadows, no? I, I was very emotional mm. then. Oh, oh. Because, of, uh-huh. you know, uh, when you grow up by yourself, it's really lonely. Yeah, no? Mm-hmm. And you would really get into different... Uh, alam na, yung, uh, experimento dito, experimento <laughs> doon, diba? And then, iisipin mo, mama, nagkita yeah. mo, mo, eh, babae ako, eh, di, mga lalaki pinag-uusapan natin, diba? So, <laughs> you try to fall in love, you get hurt, di ba? Parang sabihin mo, hindi pala yun. Hindi pala yun ang mga solusyon. So, chupi! No? Mm-hmm. Pero siyempre, yung mga nakikinig yeah. dito, mga mga yeah. ano, jowa-jowa, hindi importante. Hindi siya importante. Habang, mm-hmm. pala ka pa. No? Hindi pa. Mm-hmm. Another thing mm-hmm. is, I guess yung, yung turo ng tatay ko at saka nung nanay ko, kasi mahirap ang pera eh. Pag OFW period po kayo, meron kayong mga ganyan, papakita talaga sa'yo, mahirap ang buhay. And nakamulatan ko yan. Eh. I woke up with that. And um, wala. Na- nahiya ako sa mga magunang ko. Eh. Mabait akong bata. No? I can say I had my thing, but when I woke up to the reality of, I think I want to do something for my parents. Wala. wala basta mm-hmm. lang. I just woke up one morning and that's it. Then I started to get lost. <laughs> because you didn't know where you're going to go. So you just need decisions. Yeah. You know, alam mo yun, Charl, parang... Pwede yeah. Pwede, pwede kaya. Yeah. Hindi pwede to. Hindi, ito na lang. No? So there yeah. were a lot of roads that I was... Maraming liko, maraming derecho, maraming stops. No? And ang nakatulong sa akin, yeah. ay mentors eh. Good friends, I will repeat. Good friends! I will repeat. Good friends! Sa mga listeners, kung hindi nyo narinig yun, we would like to echo good friends. Good friends! 
Yeah. What, what, yeah, what's my definition of good friends? These are mm-hmm. people that you can really trust. As yeah. in, syempre, ngayon ko lang sasabihin to, tsaka maraming mga karing ito, baka maraming mga ex ko rin to, no? Um, <laughs> actually, um, when you say good friends, these are people that you grew up with. Eh. High school talaga, iba eh. Iba yung kamandag ng kakitan blues dyan, yung mga heartache, heartache dyan, diba? So parang ito yung talaga katitibay mong mga naging kaibigan. So and then when friends yeah. came in college and then work, diba? So nag-iiba din yung level of relationship mo, but your high school friends are really cherished for life. I don't know if mga kapataan ngayon yung mga ganyang klaseng hardships with friends no but i have chosen very very good friends and because of yeah. them ang laki ng push nila sa akin uh syempre may topic din naman ako no diba art art and art so what am i saying here family friends and then i guess my direction got straight parang nakita ko yung kuana gwen I guess, ano eh, hmm, dapat nagmadre daw ako, pero I guess I put God first eh. Siguro, oh, yeah. first day, oh, uhaw ako sa ano eh, parang, mama, uhaw, uhaw, uhaw ako noon, na ano ba talaga sa TV, diba? Mm-hmm. Mala, um, I went through different religious activities and I found uh, good spiritual uh, advisors and friends along the way. And I can say, I had a tight relationship with the big G himself, no God himself. Mm-hmm. Yon, nung nakita ko na yung direction na yon, I don't know, parang doors were just opening left and right. Kasi inuna ko siya. So yung mga yeah. jawa-jawa na yan, chupi-chupi, chupi-chupi. <laughs> Background na lang, no? Wala uh, na so, sila sa yeah, ano. Yeah, so nung oh, inuna ko na, yeah, so inuna ko na siya. Yeah, yeah. Nung inuna ko siya, everything fell into place. So after so many years have passed, sa kanya ako naka-angle eh. And then the people are saying, ba't di ka nag-asawa? Ba't di ka nag-ano? Sabi ko, eh bakit pa? My life. Excuse me. Ano ba? Ganun. Eh, masaya naman ako eh. Bakit ba? Diba? Yeah. And then, and people are saying, ano ka? LGBTQ plus plus ka? Ha? Bakit yung mga ganyan judgment? Sabi ko, Agad-agad. Oh, diba? May mga ganyan. Sabi ko, why can I be single and happy and be a woman oh my God. of today? Man, mm-hmm. like, hallelujah. No, I'm just kidding. What what I meant here is maybe I made the right decisions along the way when, mm-hmm. when I put God first. Alam ko, mm-hmm. medyo corny for some, no? But when mm-hmm. you become, you know, older and wiser, you just realize ang intangibles pala ang mas masarap na ma-attain instead of tangible mm-hmm. ones. So, I don't yeah. know what that means to you, no? Lalim mo na, ma'am, sis. <laughs> kasi, pag Or... ganito mga oras, kasi masarap talaga ang usap, eh. Yes, <laughs> uh, 7.56pm na po so para sa mga nakikinig at na nanonood. Hello? Sa nga pa, hindi mo alam. On the side, yung mga ginagawa kami dito. <laughs> so, yeah. I, hope, I hope I answered your question, uh, Charlotte, yeah. uh, Mick, no? So, that's, yes. that's the gist of ano, uh, what what I went through. This yeah, like definitely, that. ma'am. And I, and I like how you touched po a lot of aspects. Kasi whenever we think of something, we, we look into it in one perspective lang, but you were able to like, Uh, mention the family, the friends, and faith. Wow, puro F po pala mga triple Ganun F. Ano? Triple F. Family and faith, yes. <laughs> triple F on yeah. on our life. Kasi I really could relate to it. Like, um, uh, like having a high school friends now that I'm in college. Like, I'm not yet, um, I'm still like 21, but for that, yung relationship with them is really, the bond is really there. Parang, mm-hmm. parang, parang sila yung childhood friends, pero hindi childhood yeah. friends. Yeah. Ganon, parang yeah. sa tama lang. Kasi you're, You, you already know yung kung anong ginagawa niyo noon pero yung mom niyo as in youthful and everything pa so yeah until now we still get to ano uh, mag mag FaceTime mag ganyan and everything so it's really really nice and family then of course i really to mom then about 
having an OFW parent, it's not like I'm I'm realize that not everything's there na for your ano, the, the privilege and everything and faith. Kaya important din po talaga na we have our own strengths na pinanghahawakan in this current time. And ay oh, nakakatawa kasi yun nas mentioned din ni Ma'am na marami rin naman siyang mga roads na pinagpilian yeah. gaya natin yeah. right now. So far It's really, really part of the process, no? Parang ako din, ano ba to? Mas maganda ba yung road yeah. one, road two? No, life wala tayo kasi wala rin na ako eh. So, huwag na natin isipin. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> na natin. Girl talk na sa... lang? Girl talk na lang to? <laughs> Bin- binulgar sa lahat, wala rin po eh. Kaya uh, mga career paths na nandiyan, naghihintay marami. How about you, Mitnick? I know, Char. I think you have mentioned a lot na nung mga nasabi ni Ma'am, no? But, yeah. siguro to add to that, ang pinaka nag-strike talaga sa akin na sinabi ni Ma'am is the misconception if of not having a, a husband or a wife kapag, yeah. kapag like, nasa age ka na nila dapat may ganun ka. Kasi parang, yung society right now, parang, for example, kapag 30 ka na, kapag wala ka pang asawa or anak, sabihan ka, oh, asa niya anak mo? Oh, asa niya yung asawa mo? Bakit wala pa? Ganun. But, like, sa panahon ngayon, kumbaga, it's really not that a big of a deal. Na parang, and it's not your business to say that to someone. Kasi personal life nila yon So, bakit mo yung sasabihin sa kanila, right? And, what if nag-decide sila to be independent? That person decides to be independent or pursue yung sarili niyang path. And, ang nakaka-amaze nga yun, di ba? Kasi, yung person na yun is strong enough na to stand on his or her own na, na ipupursue yung sarili niyang path na without relying to anyone. And that's amazing. And na-highlight yun ni ma'am na parang, like, right now, parang... Okay po, go lang. Oh, go ma. Gusto ko yung sinabi mo, Mickey, eh, na parang Which one? pag may mga gathering tapos sasabihan, "Pati ka sawa." Wala kang bet. Pati ka sawa. Exactly. May yeah. sagot ako diyan. May sagot ako diyan. Ganito okay, na yung mga po. sagot ko, ganito. Yeah. ganito. Bigyan mo kami ng tips. Oo, uh, 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 mga tip ganyan. Kasi ano eh, lahat na lang kasi ginawa ko na yung nag-avoid ako, yung mga tipong <laughs> ayaw ako makita, o yan, nagsakit-sakitan na ako, mga ganyan. Sabi ko, sabi ko, why am I doing this to my life? This is my life. I'm mm-hmm. going to live my life to the fullest, di ba? Ay, naku, yeah. ginawa ko na lang. Alam mo, I, I, I had a change of perspective. Eh. Sabi ko, pag ginawa ko, asin mo anak mo, ba't wala kang anak? Sabi ko, dami akong anak. Marami akong anak. Marami akong academic children, spiritual Aww. children, mga doktor na, mga lawyer, ato, mga DJ, magaganda. Ibang lahi, marami akong anak. Tapos pag sinabi, ah, sinang tao mo, ay, tumingin ka lang. Nandyan siya, oh, ayan, ayan, ayan. Oh, di ba? Ang gwapo. Big G himself. And, and if you say, ba't ba di ka mayaman? Ha? Huh? Mayaman. Ang kayamanan ay hindi fera. Ang kayamanan para sa relationships. People that I work with, I talk with, so para sa akin, di ba? Parang, ang kayamanan. Oh. So, in other words, my perspective has changed. It's really different. It's really different. Kaya nga sinasabi, ba't di ka nalang nagmadre? Hindi ako tinawag dun eh. <laughs> Alam ko, tawa ko. Hindi ko calling eh. Maybe this is my calling. I think yun yung kailangan ma- maintindihan ng mga kabataan. Parang kailangan talaga hanapin ata natin para pareho. What is your life purpose? Ayan. Exactly. Ayan eh. Pag nahanap mo yung life purpose mo, ay, it is so clear. Kahit napakahirap gawin, pag malinaw sa'yo anong dapat mong gawin, dahil binigay sa'yo na nasa taas, the best yun. Kasi he will provide everything, anything. Malay mo, mamit ko din yung guwapong husband someday. Ano ba? Totoo. Sabi nga nila, ma'am, talaga umaasa ka po. Oh, boy, habang yes. may bu- Why not? Ayan, ayan. That was really, ang inspiring po nung sinabi mo, ma'am, no? Like, iniiwasan ko rin yung mga ganun. So, ngayon, alam ko na kung ano kung ano pwedeng sabihin. <laughs> Alam ko yeah. na, kasi so, may family gathering na... Andiyan yung magulang mo, nakikinig sa'yo. Ay, wala. Wala. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, 
<laughs> may love niya raw. Oh, may love niya. Nila ko po. May make sure ko. May make sure ko na walang makakapalas. So, may natuto. Una pa lang. Unang part pa lang ng ating na yeah. podcast. No? Ang dami na agad natutunan. So, it's really inspiring, no, Charles, to hear such success story. More or less, a True. decade from now, no, we, Charles, and all our listeners will look back into this day and say that all the hard work that we are putting into will make sense one day. Ayon. One day, so, yes. Tama. So, for another question po, ma'am, um, what are the important things that you think students our age should know, especially that we are in this age of slowly transitioning into adulthood? Wow, malalim yes. yan. Noong isang araw, alam ko yung sagot ngayon. Malalim yan ngayon. Malalim. I just had, I was just giving feedback with grades with my students. With the freshmen and with my junior students. And syempre, hindi ko mabanggitin kung sino-sino sila. Pero alam nila kung sino sila. No? Parang, um, I will not go through that script na, eh kasi noon ganito, tapos ngayon, ganyan. I mean, I'm gonna respect the generation that you are in. Okay? I will respect and I can yeah. tell you right now, mahirap yung ginadanas mo. Mahirap yeah. tong pandemic, nasa four corners ka lang ng bahay mo, kwarto, online class, di ba? So, when I look at the developmental characteristics and the developmental features ninyo, para bang, it's really robbed from you. Ay! Andito si Rob, no? Parang, Hi, Rob! Hi, Rob! So, parang, it's, it's so hard na when you look at the normal way of developing of, you know, your, your age group, no? it's really stifled right now. Parang, mm-hmm. because of the pandemic, there is a certain way that you should be. And, yeah. And, naintindihan ko yung mga mental health concerns and stuff, no? Naawa nga ako eh, sa mga kabataan. But at the same time, kung naawa ako, but at the same time, nandun din yung, there is compassion. Mm-hmm. Meaning, uh, with the students I have at this point, iniintindi mo na lang yung dinadanas nila. But at the same time, sana they don't become too crippled. Alam mo yan? Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, don't yeah. cripple yourself kasi society is saying you should be this, you should be that. Maybe there is something that you can do to make it work. And I can't give you the solution Nobody can give you the solution. Baka you might find a solution with your God-given talent. With technology, mm-hmm. with... Baka, some, baka pag-gising nyo, alam ko na yung gagawin ko. Baka, baka yun ang mga aha moments na kailangan nyo pakinggan eh. Kasi ang tendency mm-hmm. ng isang kabataan ngayon would be, bakit siya? Bakit ako? Ganon. Diba? Yeah. Parang, kasi nga, diba? Parang when you're growing up, parang, syempre, you have a world of your own, muna, diba? Tapos, kinocompare mo, but mahal siya ni mami, kesa sa akin, mga ganyan, no? So, marami talagang mga dramatization dyan, no? But, again, um, if you are my developmental psych uh, student, syempre, the brain, the prefrontal cortex, the front part of your brain, no? Hindi pa kasi develop yan. Yes. Yeah. Ah, ito lang ang masasabi ko sa inyo mga kabataan madidevelop yan ng maayos pag may mga kausap kayong katulad ko ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Pala, someone who is willing to guide you you know mm-hmm. hindi sermon hindi palagi sermon ah, sin, kahit ako ayoko na si sermon na ako eh pero alam mo yung way na katulad nito pinag-uusap tayo di mo alam pinapagalitan ko kayo pero mararamdaman mo ay Love ako ni ma'am. May ganon, no? Parang, you yeah. would really feel the sincerity and the authenticity na may malasakit sa'yo yung adult na yun. Diba? At syempre, parang ikaw, wow! Ang lakas nun, ma'am. Ano yun, ma'am? Love mo talaga ako, no, ma'am? 
I mean, <laughs> online lang, pero the way you say things, it makes sense. So, ang ibig ko sabihin, baka yun yung kailangan sa mga kabataan, reach out. Instead of going in, no, parang, kawawa naman ako. Kawawa naman ako. Diba? Kawawa naman ako. Para sa akin, hindi ka kawawa. <laughs> Wake up! Diba? You're very talented. You're gifted. Diba? Ang pogi mo, ang ganda mo, ang sexy mo, mamataba ako, ang voluptuous mo. Diba? Para sa akin, you are a beautiful human being and you just don't know it. Mm-hmm. And and you mm-hmm. just have to discover how to express yourself in the world of the online environment. Diba? Katulad nito, malay ko ba sa mga podcast, podcast na ito? Diba? Nagpa-orient pa ako sa mga kabataan. Ano ba? Itech! Diba? But you know when I saw na parang, eh kasi ma'am, wala silang kausap ma'am, kailangan nila sila. Ay, ay, sige, sige. Ako, ako. Gusto ko yan. Gusto ko yan. Because I, I, I want, I, yeah, I want the kabataan to hear from an adult, it's okay if you're not okay. Totoo yun. But if you are not okay, you ask for help. But when you ask for help, sana adult ang kausapin. Diba? Kasi pag kumausap ka ng kapwa, edad mo, tapos pareho lang mo kayong ligaw, walang mahihiyari dyan. Oh, oh, ako lang nagsasabi sa'yo, ba? Diba? Diba? Parang, ang mas maganda pa rin, you really consult and it's okay. Siyempre, nandun yung, naman kasi sa pamilya namin, hindi kami nag-uusap. But you know what? Mm-hmm. There, you can seek out mentors. You can start with your teachers. Mm-hmm. Online teachers, by the way. Diba? You can start with your advisors, your guidance counselors. They might be strangers to you, but we are willing to help you. If you allow us, <laughs> diba? If you allow us, diba, rub, rub, diba? Diba, rub, rub, rub. No, no, oh, so you know. Okay, I hope, I hope I answered your question. Yes, po. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's really refreshing to hear from someone na, na parang pinaparamdam na like, you are worth it, parang you, kumbaga yun yung nakuha ko dun sa message ni ma'am na you may not feel na parang ganito ka, you are worth it, ganyan-ganyan na like feel mo, you feel all those negative things na hindi ako magaling with this aspect, hindi, hindi rin ako magaling with this one, hindi, yung physical appearance ko pa hindi ganito, ganyan. Like, I I think po kasi, like most of the, um, kumbaga sa age po namin right now, yung mga kasing age po namin, karamihan ganun yung nafe-feel. And it's refreshing po to hear, lalo na po from adults na na ganun, na like, very comforting na, na you may not feel it right now, but you are worth it. Just seek for your help and explore on your own ways. Don't be, don't be too um, enclosed sa kung anong dinidictate sa'yo ng society. Because yung, like, um, not everyone is is fortunate to hear those things, lalo na sa mas matanda sa kanila. Most, parang, ang mga ganun na advice na maririnig mo, nanggagaling yun sa kasing age natin. And, ang sarap sa feeling na kapag sa mas matanda mo siyang naririnig. Because, um, in, uh, in, uh, kumbaga, aminin na natin right now, no? most of, um, the, most of the people are quite um, close-minded in a way na they don't know how their words affect others. Hindi nila alam kung baka yung nasabi nila, hindi nila naiisip yung magiging effect nun, kahit yung very simple things. Kaya, ayun, like, it's it's refre- refreshing lang talaga na to hear those uh, stuff from mom says na it's really comforting then <laughs> Ayun, how about you, Char? Yeah, um, I totally agree with that. Because it's very, it's very simple to dig that hole into that rot, into that abyss. Because it's just, it's somewhat easier. It's more comforting to like dig that hole, be there, and then cripple yourself. Because somehow you 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 feel that comfort within you. Nat dito lang ako, and then that, and then you realize that one way or another, at your own time, at your own pacing, you gotta wake yourself up and slowly you you can get out of it um on your own terms and i uh, and sinabi rin naman sa atin ni ma'am na like um kung ano yung sa tingin mong maglalight ng spark na yon sa yo kasi iba-iba din talaga tayo eh i mean if you try i cannot try like make mix formula rob mika around here and dito on how they able to manage it because at the end of the day we have we have different paces and we have different things that light spark within us for me i guess this this podcast actually uh, i remember yung sinabi ni um 
mom says about I remember that also when I was in first year na <laughs> natatandaan ko kasi yon na like it's also one of the things I guess of this pat nabayat ko by the it helps to to have another person who has a bird's eye view of what's happening because if you're like walking together okay nag naglalagay naglalakad kayo sa road and then it's just a maze and then hindi mo malalaman kung paano kung makakalabas kasi you're, you're just both inside right but there are a lot of people who have already been in that maze they're on they're on the top top view and then you can ask help on how are you going to get out of that because if you just ask the person beside you adi hindi kayo makakalabas agad agad and malilito kayo agad so that's how i analogize it before and how this um having a guidance thing and it's very important and of course um i think you would get naman din kung kailan mo like magsisik ng help because it's a it's a big big jump de ba po kung pag pag nagawa mo na yon parang they say na if you jump that deep baby steps na lang din yon so ayun um I remember yon nga I remember this topic non sa psychology and it's nice to uh, be knowledgeable not just about my own story but the collective experience of people my age it truly helps me gauge my state and guides me in my decision making processes so actually my next question was um, in the context of pandemic and how it's affecting us and ano um tip on how to cope pero natakal agad yon ni ma'am na nasagot niya agad para sa atin so i guess on a very spontaneous naman po no um if it's okay with everyone yeah. um, can i just add something shar kasi parang na inspire yes, ko sa mga sinabi yung dalawa no because yeah. of shar kasi in all fairness yung Parang kung titignan mo kasi ang mga kabataan, it's okay to feel. Walang problema. It's okay to have emotions, express it, ganyan. And and yun lang, no? Sometimes our emotions get the best of, best of us. Meaning, nadadala ka. No? Nadadala ka. Pero alam mo yung magic dyan sa emotions na meron po tayong lahat. Guess what? You can manage it. You can control it. Alam mo yun? <laughs> Ang sa akin kasi, um, of course, you hear different kinds of stories about kids doing so many things towards themselves, hurting themselves, or whatever, what have you, di ba? In all fairness, ang magic, I'm not gonna say magic, but if you're gonna really dig deep, like what you said, Char, no? Tsaka si Mik Mik na sinasabi, mm-hmm. no? Parang, maganda naman ako. I have all the talents, I have all the skills. If you are just aware how powerful you are. In all fairness, mm-hmm. malakas po kayo eh. Yeah. No? eh. Yun lang talaga, if you just do it by yourself, hindi talaga kaya. Okay. But if you do it like what Charles said, no, if it's collective, magtulungan kayo, social support, barkadang magagaling who are positive and stuff, parao si. Eh. Kasi in all fairness, mm-hmm. college life, ako na nagsasabi sa yung the secret of passing. <laughs> your, your academic marathon and uh, obstacles na ganyan, no? Parang kung isipin mo, it's really about social support. Pag hindi yeah. mo naiintindihan, someone can help you peer support. Pag hindi nyo pa na maintindihan dalawa, andyan si ma'am kaun sa pinag. Pag galitan kayo, okay lang, pero ma'am iwan ka lang, no? Parang, if that is just openness to one another, parang ang, ang, ang ganda ng buhay. Kaso di ba no, Charles, tsaka Mikmik, tsaka si Rob, tsaka si Mika yung nandito, no? parang kung nag-uusap lang, in all fairness, mm-hmm. di ba, your lives are, are wonderful. When I say wonderful, your age group, is going to do so many dynamic things and you can create and innovate. <laughs> Grabe yung energy nyo, pinagsama-sama kayo, ah. Yeah. 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 I can still remember the interactive exhibit that you guys did. You still remember that? You still remember that? Hindi naman, ano? Hindi na ata no, kami nakapag-interact. Oh, yeah, na, na, that's the start Pandemic babies na kami. Yes. Pandemic yeah, we were actually... Yeah, we, yeah, we were we were planning mm. for that. Okay. And then... Nasa, nasa, Napos ba? Nasa planning stage. Yeah. Oo. Uh, in any case, that was just one event that I can say, saludo ko. If you just allow, you just show the structures for kids, for the students. Mm-hmm. If you allow them mm-hmm. to express... 
ang gagaling na mga ideas. No? Yun lang naman ang puntos ko. I, I, yeah. I, I wanted lang to make sing it that kasi ang ganda ng sinabi nyo, no? Ito ka, Charl, no? Yeah. Uh, parang wala na tayo sa script, no? <laughs> wala po. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yo, I, I would, yeah. I would like to add doon sa sinabi ni Ma'am nga kasi about social support then. Um, both nga diba, may social support and may mentoring and like, i remember uh, like a uh, past few weeks lang a friend of mine we, we were we trio and this and this messenger and then he said like um are you guys available and then parang what's happening I, I thought it's just like a game night or whatever and then he asked like how do you how do you guys prioritize yourselves or love yourselves it was like what what are we going to talk about? Why, what, what is it we're going to talk about? And then, then not then ako philosophical may... naman nun. No? Kaya nga eh, sabi ko parang anong nangyayari sa atin? Nag- nagiging existential na po tayo ngayon. And then, ayun, we were talking, we were exchanging notes. And then, yung isa naman, parang nasabi ko na we're going to break um bad habits th- through good habits. Kasi yung parang procrastination, ang hirap i-battle minsan. So, nagkakaroon ako ngayon ng habit tracker on what to do and what not. I guess it, it really helps to exchange notes to people who are also experiencing the same. Kasi minsan, um, tayo medyo nagkakahiyaan din tayo on how to talk about mga malalalim na matters. Pero yun pala, meron tayong makukugod sa isa't isa na nakakatulong din. And dun sa sinabi ni ma'am, for commission scientists ngayon, um, whenever you're ready, whenever you feel like you're ready, meron sa ThoughtMeds, right? Um, free clinical psychologists there. Meron din tayong guidance counselors na sabi nga ni ma'am, um, faculty members um, at our disposal, whenever you're ready, these things are of reach. Kasi tinignan ko rin yun eh. Pag, pagpasok ko ng ThoughtMeds, may nakalagay like, clinical psychologists, ganyan, ganyan. It's like, oh, this is, this is beyond, this is in our resources pala. We're, we're, we have this in um, USD right now and our guidance counselors na I think, um, inaano rin po kami ngayon, niriroutine interview na as of the moment, yeah, and then, ano, yun. So, yun nga, nata- na, 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 nasagot agad ni ma'am yung next question ko. Pero I guess, yung sa, ano, more spontaneous naman po, ma'am, how would you like to, ano naman, um, a message lang siguro, not sa aming mga kabataan naman, but with the people na who have to deal with us. Like, for example, yung mga professors or whatever, mga um, other age groups that have to deal with this young adults like us. Like us or like so, are you, are you referring to your parents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same as other age groups in general. Yes, come together! Okay. <laughs> Perhaps adults of the world, no? Um, Like I said, because I'm also a therapist, no? so parang, I, syempre, I cannot divulge what has transpired in my cases, but my reflection based on what I have seen in terms of pandemic context at the same time, yung dinadaanan ng mga parents and adults na trying to survive, no? Yung the financial burdens, the economic, alam mo yun? Tapos you come home with teenagers who have emo problems. Parang, parang nakikita mong mag-aaway may mga di ba may sigawan match na mangyayari and stuff so, <laughs> so um my dear beloved adults you have we have to choose I guess that's the word no? we have to choose our boundaries when I say boundaries pag pagtapak ng paa mo sa bahay iwan mo yung trabaho. Bye-bye. Pero ma'am says, kung ang work from home, o oh, edi pag tindig mo sa upuan. <laughs> diba? Tumapat na yung paa mo sa kwarto ng mga anak mo, kaya, you know, create a creative space. I guess it's that. When I say creative space, give yourself time to transition. Dahil yung work from home and then yung, di ba, yung wala kasing boundaries for those uh, families who are so tightly together. Kailangan may, may ano ka pa, may, zo, may, may zen ka muna para bang okay, magiging nanay na ako. 
magiging tatay na ako, hindi ako magiging boss or whatever. And then, close that in your mind and then shift to being a family member. Kasi mm-hmm. when, iba kasi ang energy when you are with young adults like these beautiful people, no? They mm-hmm. need guidance. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Hindi sila yung tipong Siyempre, noong unang panahon, parang, eh, bakit tayo noong unang panahon? Ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> eh, kasi noong unang panahon, madre, walang kasing galing na teacher ko. Ay, charot. Ah! So, parang, parang, hmm. parang, ang ibig ko sabihin lang dito is, um, nag-evolve na kasi ang, ang kultura, ang human, ang human being. So, ngayon, parang we have learned from our past. And because we have learned from our past, we can become great mentors to young minds. Mm-hmm. but kailangan kasi makita mo na yan ang mga adults eh, that you can be a great mentor of young mind baka kasi yung iba naisip mm-hmm. eh, napalo lang yan, sigaw lang yan and stuff no um, yun ang tawag mm-hmm. very traditional traditional pa kasi po yun mm-hmm. so ang mas maganda pa rin pag nakita mo masungit, di ba? May 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 topak yung anak mo. Diba? <laughs> Kasi naman kayo may sapak, di ba? Parang dabog-dabog ka mo. Di ko na di ko na kailag. Oh, oh my god. Di ba mga slamming of the door, mga ayaw maghugas ng pinggan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yung amoy ng kwarto, ewan, ayaw magtapo ng basura, di ba? Parang mundo nila 'yan eh. Mm-hmm. Para na sa akin, school ako, mm-hmm. ako, ako nagkaroon ng anak, no? Respectuhin ko talaga yung mga kanya-kanyang kwarto. Pero, magre-ready ako ng mga papatay yung mga insekto na pagpasok. Pero, hindi na ayaw dito. <laughs> so, what am I saying? Positive parenting pa rin. Um, you gotta sit down with the kids. Yeah. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta listen to them because they are They're wise. <laughs> they're, they're wise. You, you, you can learn from them. Yung mga, yun nga lang, yung mga adults who want to become mentors towards the, the young adults. Ano ha? It takes a lot of patience. Yeah. Give, give, give each one the chance to be who they are supposed to be. Hindi yung dapat, eto ka, dapat nga. No, parang, bigyan mo ng options Ah, basta ako, nagbigay ako options sa'yo. Bahala ka. Uy, kung mm-hmm. ayaw mag-aaral, hindi mo ka mag-aaral. Diba? Hindi ko magsa ka. Diba? Yeah. Diba parang, parang, parang sa'yo, it's just huwag namang ganyan and stuff. Eh, kasi, <laughs> sometimes kids, they have to see the, the reality. It's hard. Life is hard. But life can be manageable if they want So, so in other words, what am I saying here? Dapat may open lines talaga with adults, with kids. Ako, I have been a teacher for so many years. And syempre, I'm a really, I'm really a stranger to them. But for me to connect to them, for me to understand them, kailangan malaki yung puso mo talaga. Malaki yung space mo na arte-arte, absent-absent, parang ikaw... Ay, buntong hininga ka na lang, di ba? But instead of scolding them, find a way to talk with them and then give them a choice. And then bahala mm-hmm. na sila doon. Respetuhin mo kung hindi nila napili yung choice mo. Para bang ikaw, ay, sige, mahaba pa ang tadaanan niya, pero yun ang pinili niya. Dito lang ako. Mm-hmm. So in other words, what I'm seeing here at this point is just be there for them when you are needed. Mm-hmm. Actually, sa edad ninyo, consultative na nga lang kami mga adults. Eh. Kasi parang sa amin, hindi na yung, ay, ano ba yan? Kwarto ba? Ay, 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 ay. Di na kami, parang, ah, okay. Ganda ng kwarto mo. Ganda ng design na jungle team. <laughs> Alam mo yun? <laughs> really scary. In all fairness, right? Okay. Yeah? It's so, not it's messy, like, it's jungle theme. Jungle theme! Then parang sabihin mo, alam ko na maging karir mo, anak, zookeeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so what am I saying? Um, have a sense of humor. I mean, pag masyado seryoso ko yung mga kabataan na, uh, di ba? You know? Um, if you have open lines with them, wala kayong problema eh. I mean, 
let them express themselves let them let them argue with you mga philosophical etchos etchos na yan mga ano masarap na i-think ko yung mga brains na yan mga yan eh parang sa akin kasi ko wow Lolly ma, alam mo yung English na yun, mga ganyan, no? But you will, be, you will be surprised the wisdom that they have. So, that's what I'm telling the adults. Pero, I'm gonna ch- I can't change the culture of the Filipino mm-hmm. adults, you know? Ang sa akin lang ay, try nyo lang. Kasi magugulat kayo, all of a sudden, you have your kids back. No. Alam mo yun, parang, kinakausap na ako mga study niya, kinakausap nito, kung makairap-irap yan. Di ba? Ngayon parang, the, the, there's a different dynamic that's gonna happen. Kasi, mm-hmm. there's something positive in the communication. So, that's very general on my end. No? So, iba na yung, mm-hmm. iba na yung pag-manager na, iba na, iba na, yung, iba na yung dynamics nun eh. But, if you're gonna talk to me about just in the school environment, ganyan. Kasi pag manager, wala silang pakialam kung anong prosesong dinadaanan mo. <laughs> Because you're being paid, di ba? But, eto lang ang sasabihin ko sa mga Tomasians, di ba? Parang, hey, uh, very employable kayo. Pinagagawa mm-hmm. kayo, di ba? Kasi masipag talaga ang mga Tomasians. Bakit? Tinuruan kasi kayo paano magtrabaho ng maapo. So, yung teachers nyo, kaming mga, yan, mga magulang ninyo, we do this all for you. Siguro right na para mga, eh kasi ma'am, palagi akong sinisigaw. Yeah, but if you take out the tone of voice, <laughs> if you can learn how to filter, you will just hear, mahal pala akong nanay ko, tatay ko pala, gets ko na kung ano. Kasi we have a certain filter eh. So, try maturing and you will see what you will see. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Did I answer your question? Yeah. I hope I answered it. Yeah, it really, it really helped. And I remember the on sa sinabi yung the first thing that mom said yung sa um, having your time uh, for yourself. Um, na, nabasa ko, ay, nabasa ko ba? Narinig ko ba sa podcast? Hindi ko na rin alam. Pero yung kay Bianca Gonzalez naman, parang she takes 15 minutes of her time, parang akala ng mga kids niya, anong tawag dito, um, nag-work pa raw siya. Pero she takes that 15 minutes muna to herself before she faces and like, meron kasi siyang sarili niya raw creative, like, um, space din. Or, like, may mga home offices din naman sila sa bahay. So like, she takes 15 minutes of that first na akala ng mga kids na nag-work pa rin siya. So that when she goes out, she has this parang, uh, hindi naman persona, but another role to take into, to have that little um transition as what to ma'am has mentioned and by extension could also relate to that because of course we're also working din naman right now like um academic organizations like this so tayo rin meron din kailangan transition it's also blurred right now kasi you're at home it's not like before na yung commute period mo that would be your hmm, ito na ako pag weather like wala nang ganun like pagpunta mo dyan andyan na yung lahat and everything it's all blurred right now pero as ano naman ma'am has like put it into it really still boils down into that um yung pinag-usapan na managing your, your emotion it kasama dun yung voice mo diba because it starts there and then yung communication i think a lot parang also read about na when things um pag may nabago ka sa inside it really transcends din sa labas mo kasi ganun din yung sa labas mo nakaka-affect sa inside mo but whenever you start it there parang baby steps din nga rin, may, may mga ripple effect yung mga pangyayari right now. And I think also that's one of the things na I could look into rin on how to, hanggang ngayon din, tin, tinatry pa rin, tinatesting pa rin on how to create those boundaries, itanggalin yung blurred lines, yung gray areas na yan. And yeah, it's really nice to know then mga iba, ibang mga tactics on how to deal with this. How about you, Mik Mik? Alam mo, uh, Charlotte, to add to that, no? Since na-tackle mo yung like first part nung like the answer of mom says, Um, I will tackle naman siguro the latter naman. Um, what I got siguro from that, no? Um, kumbaga, yun, ta- parang binalik ni ma'am yung parang sinasabi or yung yung paniniwala ng mga Pinoy na the youth yung pag-asa. 
yun yung yun yung nakit yun yung nag nakuha ko with the latter part of mom says answers no but at the same time uh, ayun nga sinasabi nila na um na yung youth or yung kabataan yung pag-asa but there are some people na nililimit due to ayun nga according yung sabi ni mom according to traditions and all that parang de nando na yung limiting parang sometimes parang dapat stick to this one stick to that one na ayun nga na minimize yung potential ng kabataan although sinasabi na yung youth yung potential but hindi naman nila hinahayaan to grow on their own but um other parang minomold na nila but the, um what i got is that should not be the case parang let their let them grow on their own syempre but guide them hindi lang hindi mo papabayaan but also with your guidance no hindi hindi pwede yung hayaan mo lang but um hayaan mo sila on their own but still be there to be there for them to guide them yun nga sabi ni ma'am it is important for you to be there for them na nandun ka sa tabi nila na make them feel ano make them feel na nandiyan ka palagi for them no and that's really important and yun talaga yung pinaka nag-struck sa akin ayun sa answer ni Ma'am Sis. So ay you have do you have something to add ba Ma'am? As all of a sudden I just you know like I got inspired again with what you guys said <laughs> yeah. and make me no parang parang nakita ko let's say if you have a young adult in front of you parang mm-hmm. and here comes let's say the representation lang no let's make it into a metaphor no parang mm-hmm. it's like uh yung edad ninyo imagine that you are in a dog leash sorry mm-hmm. no Basta, <laughs> work with me work with me mm-hmm. so na- okay, okay. Ka, may may, may no, pupuntahan no, to guys uh, may pupuntahan to mm-hmm. uh-huh. first no pag freshman ka di ba parang hinahatak mam niya para bang dito ka, umayos ka, di ba? Yung talagang fight pa, dito ka, likaw dito, ganyan, no? Para bang, gusto mong makakawala, hindi pa pwede, yung, yung gano'n, yung, the, the discipline, the structure is there, and, and, the, and, and that rope is, or that leash is very tight, no? Di ba? Mm-hmm. But I think we're second year, yan, second year, kaya parang, oh, sige, luwag-luwagan na natin, o oh, hahabaan na natin, ah, nakabili na ng bagong leash yung, ano, yung adult, na parang, okay, social social na ako, oh, sige, lumayo ka, lumaya, ayan, o, oh, tama, tama, ayan, yeah, dyan ka, di ba, di ba? Pero may leash pa din, no? Sometimes, the leash is being pulled, and then you'd see, na parang, bang, ah, may trust issue talaga yung adult na to, ayaw pa akong bitawan, But you know, if you build that trust relationship with any adult, makita mo yung leash na yan, luluwag. Pagdating ng third year, parang, ano na, ano na to ha, parang, kung titignan mo, parang, o oh, sige nga, tanggalin nga natin sandali, tingnan natin anong gagawin. Uy! Ah, may sariling palo na yung bata. <laughs> diba? Para matutuwa ka na. Tapos pinag, ay, nadapa! Ay, si ililish ulit natin. Kasi ganito ah, yan, diba? Nakausapin mo, bla, 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 bla. Pagdating ng fourth year, hanggang sa makagraduate, yan, bitaw mo na, tinapon mo na ililish. Eh, para mang isipin mo, ay, yan ang produkto. Kaganda. Kapog. <laughs> diba? Kagaling, diba? Ibig sabihin, um, you found your your past with with that no with that analogy with that metaphor you gotta you gotta give some slack sa mga adults eh. para bang we don't know really how to let you grow up properly in all fairness there is no manual to become great parents great mentors you know great teachers you name it no great government great <laughs> president you name it there is none really I'll, i'll tell you that no may mga flaws din kami mga adults but i hope you will learn from our flaws and you become a better version of us ano yan so Yeah, we have that dog leash. Sorry, yun lang naisip ko. Inspiration. I don't know why I'm using it. Maybe, ang dami ko nakikita dogs ngayon sa Facebook with their, with our, their, ano, no, no, yeah, yeah, with their owners. No? Priming so, parang, pala. I know, I know, priming, you know. So, what am I saying? Um, uh, trust the process. 
Mm -hmm. Ano yan? Trust the process. Mahirap. Di ba? Di ba? Yeah. Fact, no? But you, you gotta trust the process because may pupuntahan nyo yun eh. Inihahanda kayo eh. Di ba? Di ba? Parang, but, parang isip yun, ba't sunod-sunod, sakit-sakit, ganyan, di ba? Uy, parang, wow, ang galing, ang swerte ko naman, ganyan-ganyan, di ba? Uy, ano lang yun. Parang, all of these things, as it comes to you, no, as it comes to you, parang isipin mo, how do you juggle all of that? Di ba? Pero ito lang ang sasabihin ko sa inyo. Mm -hmm. When you trust the process and then you learn, I don't know, all of a sudden you learn, you know what to do. I don't know, but um, there's that wisdom, that thing, but I don't know, it's a light bulb moment that you're the only one who can hear it. My dear adults, young adults, no? So, trust where you're going and trust about what you have. No? Kasi parang, dapat kasi ganto ako, ganto, ganto. Baka naman, meron ka naman talagang talent. Maganda yung talent mo. Maganda. It's just that, you know, dadaan ka talaga sa butas ng karayong. Pero, mm -hmm. pagkatapos mo daanan yung butas ng karayong na yan, masasabi mong, kaya pala. Yan. Yan ang mga magagandang realization pag dumaan ka na sa ganong klaseng proseso. Kaya yun. Oh, yun, ang, yun ang resulta ng doglish. <laughs> <laughs> malapit-lapit na tayong makawala uh, mga third years uh, here eh. oh, malapit na uh -huh. naman so, dog. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. but you know it's just for you to understand what I'm saying so yun lang alam, alam niyo po ma'am your answers really helped us to know more information about how we can maximize our life as young adults so in line with this po ma'am what is your parting message to our Somatian listeners para naman po mas maging dedicated sila not only during this time but also in the near future po. Wow. <laughs> Mga kabata. <laughs> My dear Somatians, well, I, I'm also a Somatian, true-blooded Somatian, mm -hmm. I mean, college-wise. No? And, um, bumalik ako sa USD, nagturo ako eh. Na never ko yan nakita na sa lupalop ng buhay ko, ako ay magiging isang guru. Never. But mm -hmm. I guess you just have to understand at this point, mga kabataan, if you don't know where, what you're supposed to do, you don't know where to go and stuff, no, it's fine. Don't be too anxious to find the answers right away. Life isn't instant. It's it's okay to have pauses and stops for a while and reflect, no? And try mm -hmm. to own it. Own it. Own, own what happens. Like, for example, siempre, I always teach my students about integrity, no? Do what you say, say what you do. Do what you say, say what you do. Baka yan ang kailangan natin i-practice. Pag sinabi mo, gawin mo. Pag ginawa mo, ito pa rin mo, di ba? Maging consistent ka. Actually, in life, you have to be consistent. At the same time, be a professional. Pasensya na I mean, I've been a teacher all these years. I've seen mediocre work. I've seen professional work. I've seen amazing work of students. Ang sign kasi, don't settle for less. Alam mo yan, parang pag may ginawa kang trabaho, hindi parang, ay, sana matapos na lang to. Diba? It's more of, pag-aralan mo ano yung tama. Hindi pwede yung, eh kasi dapat si ma'am, si sir, dapat binigay sa amin yan. No. Gamitin mo din yung resources mo, yung talents mo, and you will be amazed that you will find confidence when you find the answers by yourself. So what am I saying here? Um, grow up. <laughs> Bakit? Kasi, Blame it on the pandemic, blame it on Wuhan, blame it on COVID-19, whatever. But your life is your life. Yes, your life is just in the screen right now or it's just in this earphone when you listen to me. But why she mom says so? Shoo, 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 shoo. But then again, I hope the things that we say here is not to make you feel good. No, I want to disturb you. Mom naman, ba naman? Diba pa? 
Kaya nga, para mag-feel good, feel good ako eh. Yeah, feel good! But do something about it, you know? <laughs> Create, make your life a contribution to what's happening today. Make it better for everyone. Like for example, kung may group work kayo dyan, as a student, di ba? Siyempre, mm-hmm. <laughs> group work. Ayoko magtrabaho kasi, whatever, di ba? I'm so busy, ganyan, ganyan. But that's the start of community. The spirit of community begins with group work. At dyan mo ma-exercise kung anong klase ng tao. So little things and little tasks like this, endure it but surpass it. Wag yung endure and then let go. No. Daanan mo yung dapat mong daanan. At mat- magugulat ka pag may group effort kayong ginawa, you will be up to you. Grabe yung ginagawa niya. You know what I mean? So, um, and then, and last na lang is, of course, there is someone greater than all of us. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko alam kung anong relihiyon meron po kayo. Respetuhin ko po yan. Pero kailangan nyo din makita there is a supreme being uh, among all of us who is taking care of us. All you have to do is ask for help. Mm-hmm. And that supreme being will definitely help. In my world, my God is so alive. I had one student who told me, Ma'am, gusto kita makausap, gusto kita makasama. Sige, bakit? Ma'am, kasi pag ikaw kausap ko, buhay ang Diyos eh. Kasi pag ibang tao kausap ko, patay ang Diyos, ma'am. Pero ma'am, pag sa iyo, bakit buhay na buhay? Parang, parang katabi mo lang siya, ma'am. ba? Diba? Sabi ko, eh, totoo naman eh. Kasi I allow it. I allow it. So what am I saying here? Make the right choices for your lives. You get what I'm saying? But if you choose that whatever decision it is, make sure it is good for you, for your family, and for society. Parang CCC, no? Compassion, commitment, competence. <laughs> from, from three Fs to three yeah, Cs. Yeah, yeah, three Fs, three Cs. Yeah, yeah, Cs diba? Diba, diba? Puli namin lahat sa alphabet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just so you know, para kasi baka sabihin nyo, eh ma'am, ikaw, anong life purpose mo? Diba? Hinanap ko yung life purpose ko. It's the three Ts naman. Ah! Yeah. At, yeah, I teach, I train, I therapy. Oh, boy. Wow. wow. Like FCP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, find your letters in life. <laughs> And once you find your letters in life, your calling in life, you will be blessed. All I can mm-hmm. say, you will be blessed. I think, ang dami ko ng sinabi. Sana, kapamaan, mm-hmm. wag ko yung magalit sa mga sinabi ko. Be moved by it. Be inspired by it and make things happen in your life. So, go, 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 step! Grabe, <laughs> grabe, Cheryl, no? Napaka-inspiring nung words ni Ma'am. And it's, as I mentioned kanina, na siguro pa ulit-ulit na ako, ang refreshing makarinig na mga ganun, especially during our situation right now, no? Ayun, like, pinaka nagustuhan ko sa sinabi ni Ma'am is that, kumbaga, Ma- hindi pwedeng laging straight lang yung path na dadaanan mo. May mga likuli ko talaga dyan. Hindi yun may iwasan. Kasi some people like are afraid talaga to to like to to explore different paths. Kasi natatakot sila. Hala, baka anong mangyari? Ganyan, ganyan. But they don't know na ano, na yung pagliliko na yun, it will like, it will mold them into the person that they're gonna be in the future. It parang It's kumbaga may somehow meron siyang may masasabi siya like it's something that can contribute sa iyo talaga. That's why parang natutunan ko talaga kay Ma'am Sis na do what you gotta do, gana. <laughs> do what you gotta do like par- and syempre do what you do what you gonna do but parang parang sabi parang kumbaga live your life according to yourself. Parang ganoon. Parang kumbaga Like, although madaming tao na nagsasabi na, ah, ganito, ganyan, 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 dapat ganito ka, ganyan, ganyan, blah, 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 blah. But, baga, 
kumbaga, you have to learn to move by yourself. And dapat kung saan ka comfortable, ganun. Kasi, ikaw yun eh. Buhay mo yan. So, why, why other, why let other people dictate who you are, kung ano, or kung ano dapat kunin mo, or kung ano dapat path mo, ganun. Yun yung natutunan ko, Charles. How about you? Yeah, marami rin ang ganda kong natutunan, lalo na sa mga shinere ni Ma'am Sasa at. And I hope the people that are listening and uh, viewing to us learn something. I'm sure one or two you've picked up something may nabaon kayo today. And uh, for me naman, dami. Ay dami natin pinag-usapan. I think it's been <laughs> an hour that we're talking from the three F's, three C's, three P's, lahat na nga ata ng alphabet kukunin na natin today. Buda na lang may recording tayo, no? That we could uh, listen to it again and again. So, ayun, from um, that merong different facets of life, no, we have to look upon. Then that adulting is never linear it's always um there's turns and everything and that um siguro one ano lang then reflection then and um something that i tell myself that everything um we we will do the work but we, uh, um along the way everything will be okay when come into place Um, given the things that we have talked about. And doon sa nasabi nating lahat, like to wrap it up, naalala ko lang yung palaging inaana sa Grace Anatomy. Uh, <laughs> yung para sa Grace Anatomy ko talaga nakuha, no? Grabe ka. Guys, I, I, watch, I watch too much Grace Anatomy. Ako rin. Si San Ating ako. <laughs> yeah. But it's the... Um, it's the serenity prayer. It it says that grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I think um, that's really something that's applicable then because sometimes we try to control everything that's not really controllable to begin with and it becomes so frustrating. And um, these there are the things that are in our disposal, in our that there are the things that we cannot change, uh, we can change, are already there. And sometimes it's it's blurry yet we, we don't know kung ano ba talaga, kung ano. So, ayun, meron tayong may mga, there are things that are just for surrendering and there are things that um, to be, alam yun, I'm, I'm the, uh, I'm the leader of this life. Ganon. So, yun, and I hope that we get to see the difference of this and get that serenity. So, ayun, um, That that is it for me. Um, Mik Mik, naman ka pa pang ibang sasabihan? Uh, for me, Charles, I guess, nasabi mo na lahat. Ah, grabe. Ang ganda na, na-amaze ako dun sa mga comment mo, Charles, to be honest. Like, ano, ayun nga, siguro to add to that, no, ta- ang ganda nung sinabi mo about some things are worth surrendering. Kasi parang some people tend to cling sa isang bagay na kaya lang sila nagkikling doon because may nagdictate sa kanila. Because, parang iniisip nila, ah, ano, parang, parang iniisip nila, ah, ganito, kaya hindi ko pwede pakawalan yan. Kasi, sabi ni ganito, sabi ni ganyan. Eh, bakit, parang, it's your life. So, parang, <laughs> parang dapat ang priority mo, yung una mong perspective sa bagay na yun, kung ano yung nafe-feel mo, hindi yung nafe-feel ng iba. Yeah, you have to consider yung feelings ng others and all that, but, you have to really prioritize yourself para naman you get to live your life according to yourself din kasi buhay mo yan. I think that's it for me, Char. <laughs> ah, so ang dami, ang dami natin. Full pack tayo ng mga learnings today and I hope um, after the tips, the realizations, everything that revelations pa nga ng mga love that I have tonight, <laughs> my goodness. Yes. Uh, I hope you, uh, after this, you get a little bit of clarity and serenity even na nasabi ko. I remind you that this is only our first episode and there will be a lot more na discuss natin. And that wraps up our first episode of Pat Dubai at Gabay. Thank you once again, Ma'am Sess, for accepting our invitation to be our guest for today's episode. Truly, we were able to learn more important information when it comes to transitioning into becoming a full-fledged adult. Ayun, girl. Ang dami ko talaga natutunan tonight. Thank you very much for that po, Ma'am Sess. So, by the way, please, please do not forget to listen to our next episode about the ins and outs of Swiss. A very interesting topic. So once again, I am Mick Mick, the Executive Director for the Community Development of the College of Science Student Council, reminding everyone to stay strong and safe during this difficult time that we are facing. Yes, 
Yes, and I am Charles, the Assistant Secretary of the College of Science Student Council, letting you know that CSSU will always be open and will consider you as a family and, of course, reminding you that you are never alone. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day ahead of you. Yay, thank you, everyone.